a 27.5 million pound industrial project is underway in Cheatham Hill. Kier Property and its partner Investec are delivering Trade City Manchester. When complete, Trade City Manchester will offer 93,000 square feet of industrial and trade counter space, spread out across nine units in a prime location off Elizabeth Street. I'm Julia Hatmaker, the editor of Place Northwest, and today I'm on the site of the future Trade City Manchester. Join me as we learn a little bit more about this development and what makes it so special. The project is still in its early stages, with groundwork currently taking place, so I spoke with Kier's Henry Martin to learn a bit more about what Trade City will be like. So we've got units ranging from three and a half thousand square feet going up to about twenty three and a half thousand square feet. The beauty of the of the scheme is that with these smaller units it's a flexible um, product so some of the units can be combined um, but also in terms of the specification it offers occupiers um, a superior sort of spec that gives them the flexibility to fit out and adapt those units however they want. So I wanted to ask you a little bit about ESG. Um, industrial schemes aren't exactly known for being the most energy efficient, right? So you guys are aiming for EPCA, BREAM Excellent, I believe. Why, why are you doing that and how are you going to meet those goals? Yeah, so um, it's something that is um, important to Kia as a business um, and it's something that we recognise is uh, becoming more and more important to occupiers and, and investors um, and from a social value aspect as well. So um, what we're aiming to deliver, as you say, Briam Excellent EPCA, um, we're looking at integrating uh, renewable technology into the, uh, into the scheme, so electric vehicle charging points, air source heat pumps, uh, PV panels on the roofs, um, and I think it helps overall to make the uh, development more energy efficient. So it's not only better for the environment, but also in terms of the occupiers, um, they will have a far more energy efficient building, um, which will help with lower operational costs, which in the current climate with everything that we're seeing with higher energy prices and utility bills um, will be beneficial for them too. So often when we think of city regeneration and building in cities, we think about offices and we think about apartments. So obviously, you know, this is an industrial project, an employment zone. How does that fit into the urban vision? Yeah, well, I think we're in a really uh, unique position here, just a mile from Manchester city centre. Um, and I think everybody knows you know, how much Manchester's been expanding as a city. And it's great that we've got offices and the amount of residential that's going in there, but actually to service those um, you know, people living in the city centre, those businesses that are there, there is a need for uh, industrial and trade accommodation, which we're providing here. So we've actually had you know, quite a lot of interest from sort of last mile logistics, those type of um, operators to be able to serve the city centre. And that's what's great, being just a mile north of the city centre. We've got that access where you can easily get into there and service, the, uh, service those occupiers and residents. So work started on the site in June and obviously there's a lot happening so far, but where, where are we at in terms of the process? When will it be complete? Yeah, so as you say, we started works in June. Uh, so we are currently undertaking uh, groundworks across all of the sites. So foundations are sort of going in, been making really good progress with that. Um, and we're hoping that the first of the steel work will start going up towards the end of this month. Um, and we'll just sort of be going sequentially around the site. So September, October time, people in the area driving past the site, we will start to see the steel frames coming out. Um, and from there, we'll be progressing through the construction with the uh, cladding going on, fitting out the units, and then uh, various external works with uh, practical completion taking place in July 2024. Great, so it may not look like much now, but we're gonna see a lot of activity here in the next few months. Correct, that's right, yeah. So um, yeah, it will, once the frame's up, things will start to happen a lot more quickly. There'll be a lot more sort of visible progress from that point. Thank you so much, Henry, for the tour of Trade City Manchester. It'll be really exciting to see how this scheme develops and we'll definitely be keeping an eye on it. If you wanna know more about what's going on with Trade City Manchester and Kier's other industrial developments, you can check out tradeandlogistics.co.uk. And if you wanna know more about what's going on with property in the Northwest, head over to placenorthwest.co.uk so you never miss an important news story.